Well, Eddie and I are out for the first paddle of the season. <laughs> Woo Beautiful lake, crown land spot, somewhere <laughs> north of my house. We're lost. <laughs> stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's grey outside It really makes me wonder Okay, Andy, something's new. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I got to wait a minute. <laughs> this is new. This is, so this is the, the tripper. This is yeah. the tripper. Something's new is that you're not used to wearing a hip belt. So you, um, the, the nice thing about the tripper is if you don't like a hip belt, you can just take it totally off and not oh, use okay. it. So. You've, uh, you've got the tump line option yeah. um, on here, and that's great. Uh, some people love tump lines, some people don't, so... Uh, I like a tump line. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's an option. It hooks right into the, into the pack on these two buckles, and away you go. So the tripper is kind of a, you know, it's a real uh, good size, good features without going, uh, like, to um, to have every possible feature available, it has great padded shoulder straps. Um, it has a pocket in the lid here. So that's new, right? That's one of the new features yeah. of uh, the latest version of uh, the Tripper Canoe Pack, and wow. it's the, uh, the type of pocket that has a um, a pleat in it so that it, you can get lots of volume in here. And, uh, and it doesn't put pressure on the zipper and make that zipper hard to open and close. So that's the unique um, feature of uh, having that, <clears throat> that pleat. It has, <clears throat> excuse me, it has lash points on the top here um, and it has lots of handles. We've got um, <clears throat> two handles here on the side of the top, two more at the bottom. So no matter which way this is in the canoe, you should be able to find a way to grab it and uh, get it out. You can see there's yeah, a, yeah. a couple more oh, handles yeah, yeah. Like here that. and uh, and even another one down here at the front. So um, lots of grab points and you can see the, the high visibility yellow makes those easier to, to locate and grab. Yeah, so. yeah, that's good. This is my preferred uh, one yeah. of yours. Uh, it's, it's simple and it's actually sorry, it's a it's a good uh, price. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know, it's affordable. It's like made out of a thousand denier um, nylon, double bottom, so it's durable but affordable too. So yeah, yeah. Um, so that's the nice thing about uh, 
what we we wanted to bring um, to paddlers and in, uh, in the community is great gear at a decent price. So that's right. That's Under right. the lid, it's got three compression straps. You can see one, two going this way, Oops. another compression strap going across the top, and uh, those basically will uh, help cinch in your load and keep it um, contained along with this uh, drawstring which gives you lots of extra room at the top of the pack for um, giving you that, uh, that volume. So this, the volume of this pack is um, at, at its minimum is about 70 liters, maximum uh, 106 um, liters of volume. So. Yeah, it sounds like you've swallowed some black flies on the port <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I I need to, I'll be in my trailer having a refreshment, get my voice back. Some people at the the launch site want to know what we're doing. I said, "Well, we're going out, but we're going to film a bit and I have a renowned actor with me." <laughs> they got more interested in our trip after that. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're look, looking at me like Actor, I don't recognize him. <laughs> what if you say so? <laughs> Red skeleton brother. And you quit looking your paws. We're filming no. for heaven's sakes. Yes, I'm in front of the kids. Yes. <laughs> anyway, That's what I got in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. What is going? That's a rare warbler. Yeah. Oh, they are coming out. They're biting now too. Yeah. So that's the um, the, the latest version of the. A uh, tripper canoe pack from Recreational Barrel Works and it comes in green as you can see but it also is available in red. That's right and you got to have something new on, on that one then. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. the... Uh, Let's have a look. Oh my lord. <laughs> Here I'll put it away. Okay. <laughs> He's my Sherpa. Or something. Is there something new on this? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you got? What do you got? So, this is the Expedition Canoe Pack. So, it's a bigger volume. It uh, it's, um, tops out at about 130, 135 liters. Um, so, it's a bigger pack. Um, other features compared to the Tripper are on the back. You can see... It has a, a full hip belt. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. and and then the back pad here is uh, inserted a foam pad, so you've got some cushioning between uh, the contents of the pack and your back. So that's that's a comfort feature for sure. Really great shoulder straps, um, and uh, but it also the the grab handles on this pack are actually uh, have a foam insert so they're oh uh, yeah they're a little more comfortable than just the plain webbing um, handles on uh, the other pack so um, so and there's lots of them we've got two here we've got the two uh, on each side and that's one of the new things that we added this year was the handle down at the bottom so no matter which way this pack is in your canoe that's you, handy. You've yeah. got a couple yeah. of, of great grab holds to uh, to reach and, and get it in and out. So, Especially for the amount of stuff you actually take on a trip. Well, someone's got to carry it, Kevin. <laughs> and uh, we know it's not... Uh, well, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight, though. So I've got the, the downgraded version of this, right? Well, well yeah. It's, that's a simpler uh, pack. Not as many features. It doesn't have these um, compression straps on the side. Oh yeah. 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 Um, it doesn't have that foam pad in the back. Um, it doesn't have um, the padded hip belt like this guy yeah. has. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's a, a little smaller but uh, um, otherwise it's it's a thousand denier nylon all around including a double bottom so you've got like great durability yeah. on it on uh, all the packs. Um, the one thing that we've uh, added on the latest version of the Expedition also is these um, quick quick um, snug uh, buckles here on the side allow you to, to pull on this strap and um, 
and you're snugging up your hip belt with just one hand on on each side whereas traditionally on if you're just using buckles in the middle you need to like use both hands and wrestle it back and forth so that's yeah. a lot easier to to tighten and loosen so yeah the inside and, hmm? you, and you also have <clears throat> you do have the chest strap right yeah yeah okay both packs have um the uh the sternum strap here and again the they're both set up so that they're you can move them oh. up and down did the old version have version that too yeah 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 i haven't been using that <laughs> like so if you if you've got different layers on at the in the morning when it's cold and you can slide that up and down so it's not too high into your neck or too low into your chest so I find that my biceps are so large because the muscles I have. Yeah. That I have, yeah, I have problems with well, that. That's quite a, quite a challenge for you, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> so what's inside? Well, it also, this, uh, the Expedition Canoe Pack has the pleated lid pocket also. So, um, you know, I've got my, uh, my raincoat stuffed in here right now. And, uh, and it's, um, not putting pressure on that zipper uh, like other lidded pockets um, do. So that's great. And it's got also daisy chain points on the lid and, oh, and in the front. So I often will hook my water bottle yeah. or my map case on there with a carabiner when I hit the portage so that um, they're secure and, and not getting lost somewhere. Under the lid, again, we've got uh, we've got three straps, so the two going across and one going lengthwise um, that uh, are cinching in your load, um, and it's containing this this um, top attic area, which is an expandable. Uh, area that uh, oh, and you've got a, a pack liner too, right? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. That's a waterproof pack liner that uh, um, is one of the products that we sell to make sure all your contents are are keeping dry and and uh, in rain or rapids, whatever it happens to be. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So nice drawstring closure and the three clips. You do have more stuff than we do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is my, this is the, ha, has the comfortable, uh, um, has my comfortable uh, chair. Chair. Yeah. Has my comfortable sleeping pad. Yes. Which I, I, you know, I go to sleep all comfortable and I wake up and it's like, why is there somebody else on my sleeping pad? <laughs> Doesn't happen. Somebody, Doesn't... somebody moved in mysteriously <laughs> here's a good idea hey kev let's go out uh, uh in, in uh beginning of may the bugs won't be bad at all yeah. and while we're there can we you know we can film some new stuff of what what you're bringing out while the black flies are buzzing around my, inside of my ear and <laughs> yeah. yeah it's lovely yeah. and it seems like it's going to rain real soon <laughs> yeah don't worry <laughs> you can you can handle this wilderness don't worry i know Seems like just like a normal trip for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we, we should we be off? I think we should. Yep. All right. Don't tell anybody where we are. We're on a piece of crown land Woo. near where I live. Woo. Shh. It's a beautiful lake. Shh. You you you, for, you forgot something. I always forget something. <laughs> oh, well, what I um I should mention is that uh, the um, the tump line is an option that you, works on this pack. Um, the Expedition Canoe Pack also. And we've got a new um, uh, option for this year, which is the internal frame. And um, I'll show you where that uh, comes into play. Is there is a, a pouch at the back of the pack on the inside. Uh, closes with a Velcro strap and it has this internal frame. Um, in it, the internal frame has two aluminum stays, so those uh, 
those aluminum stays can slide in and out. They can be shaped to the contours of your back and put back in here. And then um, you've got a, uh, uh, an internal frame canoe pack. Um, this is an option. Some people may not want this, but others are looking for uh, the best carrying load um, uh, options for, for them. And, and this would help transfer weight uh, better from the pack to your hips through this internal frame. So. You know, it's a good thing I checked your script right here. Your script is right here. Are you would never have... Oh, your wife wrote this, didn't I you? I go off script all the time. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I should feel the shame. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Uh, that, uh, yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's... Um, and that's one of those things that uh, some of our... Um, the folks that... Uh, bought our gear and, and wrote us back and said, I'd love it. Hey, it'd be super if you had an optional internal frame. And we're like, that's fantastic. Let's do it. And that's why we're happy that the latest version of the Expedition Pack now has that option. Excellent. Thank you for all those wise paddlers and their great ideas. <laughs> Present company accepted. I was waiting for that. <laughs>